in my last video, I proved the area of a triangle, uh, which is basically, which has come from half base times height formula. So, area of a triangle is half AB. If you take A and B, you have to take sine C. If you take B and C, you have to take sine A. And if you take A and C, you take sine B. Okay, so, it is two sides. So, half of the product of two sides times the angle included between them. That's the formula. That's how you remember. So, I, in this video, I want to show you. Uh, this is, say, this is triangle ABC. And you want to find the area of this triangle. So, we don't, for half base times height formula, we have to ha drop, we have to find the height to get to the area. Whereas here, uh, if you know two sides and the included angle, you can use, uh, uh, you can find the area of the triangle. So this 22.1 is say A, B, if this is B, this is uh, a lowercase b, and if this is angle C, this is C. So here the print is small, so I'm, I'll rewrite A is 22.1. B is 15.1 uh, and C is 10.1 units, whatever that unit is. This is 36 degrees. This is 120.9. I used a program to find the angles, interior angles of this triangle. Hopefully they have done it right. And this is 23.1 one degree so let us let me check i've got a doubt whether these three angles add up to 360. so uh, this is 36 plus 120.9 plus 23.1 hopefully yeah exact so it's 180 so there's nothing wrong here so area of this triangle so let me write area of triangle area of triangle ABC would be half, which is 0 0.5, times A times B, which is 22.1, times 15.1, times sine C. So let us use a calculator. The first thing that you should check is whether your degrees is in radians. So I have already changed this into degrees because we're working in degrees. So this is 0 0.5 times 22.1 times 15.1 times sine C. Sine C is 23.1, I should have written 23.1, 23.1, which is 64.65.5 uh, units squared. Okay, so this is, this is 23.1. So the answer was 65.5. So this is 65.5 units squared. I don't know the unit. So what happens if it is a, let us take this to one more. It will be, it can be slightly uh, different because the measurements are not exact. Okay. So let us take, we took uh, this A and B, so let us take B and C, it will be 0 0.5 times B, which is 15.1, times C, which is 10.1, times sine of the angle between them. The angle formed between them is 120.9 degrees. Okay, 120.9. Hopefully, answer would, should be almost the same so let me cancel this 0 0.5 times 15.1 times 10.1 times sine 120.9 which is 65.4 okay so this measurement is not exact if it was exact but for practical purpose this you can say the 65.4 both the answers are right, 65.4 units squared. I would like you to do the, uh, if you take A and C, and see what answer you will get.